How to make a Facebook business page easy tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm giving you a tutorial on how to make a Facebook business page. So let's get started. First, what you guys need to do is you will open up facebook.com and you will land on this social media platform. Facebook.com initially was just a social media, but now we can also run our business. It has its own marketplace. We get our own meta business suite. So if you have a business that you run physically and you want to upgrade it and you want to make it official on social media and make it an, an online business, then Facebook business page is your way to go. In order to create a page on Facebook, you just have to open up your profile and you can create a page with your simple profile. So you will go to the pages section right here. Then you can see I already have two pages, but to create a new page, I will click right here. So in order to create a business page, you just have to create a public page on Facebook and then we can get our own meta business read and I'll show you different settings that we need to do. First, create a page, page name. Let's say that I want to create a business for my clothing brand. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, let's just say that this is the name for my page. Then we have category. So in category, I'm going to go with clothing. You can see clothing brand. So whatever category you have, you will choose here. You can select more than one categories. Then we have bio. So this is where I will enter a bio for my page here. So I'm just going to enter some details. All right. So once you've added a page name category and you have added the bio, then you need to click on create page. Okay, so our page has been created and now we can enter more information. Since it's a clothing brand, we can enter a website here. So if you have a website for your business, of course, if you run a business on WooCommerce, you have a Shopify store, you had your own website, you have Google business, then you can just enter the website phone number, email address. Then we have location where I can enter the address, town and postcode. In ours, we can enter when we are available. No ours available, always open, open ad selected ours. So I'm going to select open ad selected ours. And now what I can do is I can select the days and then we can select the time of opening and closing. This is how different businesses enter their time. And sometimes we check a shop on Facebook and it says that, uh, you know, opens at 11 a.m. and closes at 10 p.m. So that's how you add the time here. So you can select the days and time. After that, we can click on next. Here we have to enter a profile picture and a cover photo for our brand. So this is going to be the cover and this is profile. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to select files from my computer. So I have uploaded some images, a cover photo, and then we have our profile picture. Then click on next. So here we have stay informed about your page. If you want to turn on the notifications, then you will switch on this option. Click on done and your page will be created. So you can see it's a business page that I created on Facebook. Creating a page is really easy. And once it's done, then you determine that if it's a business page, of course, you can add your WhatsApp. If you have included it, you can also get your own manage. You can run ads. You can sell products very easily. So here we have our page and you can see I have the promote option. Then we have manage and edit. Click on edit and it will allow you to edit your profile picture and cover photo. Click on manage and it will take you to the manage section where you will get your own professional dashboard. Facebook has improved a lot in the recent years and you can see that now when you create a business page, you get your own professional dashboard. In dashboard, we have overview where I can see my page post reach. We have post engagement, new page likes. This is one of the my posts and you can see it's showing me that I can actually run an ad. Then we have recent post, next step, a quick guide and some FAQs. In insights, I have home, your page, post and audience where I can select my targeted audience. I can grow my audience with the ad center. Then we have invite friends to follow. In tools, we have event, jobs, page access, messaging settings, linked account and business app. So if you want to create an, a business app within your Facebook, you can do that really easily. So you can go to business.facebook.com. Once you create a page on Facebook, you will get your own meta business suite and it will also give you business.facebook.com.
So you can see grow your business with apps. And what I can do is I can now add integrations within my Facebook. You can see I can actually add equity scheduling. Then we have like appointee. Then we have appointments for opt-ins. Then we have like eat app, big commerce. We have equid. We have uh, idea soft. So let's say that I run a business. I sell my products on big commerce. So Facebook has allowed me to connect my big commerce directly to my Facebook and link and actually run a business on facebook too so we can actually create a business on facebook and then expand it to other e-commerce platform or if you already have a you know business on equid on big commerce then you can expand it to facebook so this is really uh, you know good you can see we have all of the integrations we also have editing integrations such as animato canva that we can integrate directly we also have drop shipping suppliers the sellers such as amazon and big cartel here so you can add different integrations here in all apps and then we have our home so this is my home and you can see i have selected this page we can switch between different pages if you have more than one you can see i have three pages now and these are all business pages so this is the one that we just created I can schedule my post on Facebook page uh, really easily. Then we have our own inbox. We have content and ads and insights as well. I'm going to click on insights and it will show me my activity, my goals and results. So just create a simple page on Facebook. And after that, you can go to business.facebook.com and you will get all of the different options. You will get your own events manager as i'm showing you again there are already videos on the channel on different separate tools for example how to create an ad on facebook how to use the meta business suite how to create events so all of the different videos are on this channel and each of the dashboard each of the tool has its own dashboard that you can use to manage to create and collaborate your business you can grow your business with the ads and with your events you can also create instant forms and work on the crm of your business so go ahead and check out business.facebook.com once your page is created let's go back to facebook and let me actually show you the overview of your page so that you have an idea you can see this is our main professional dashboard that you will get once you create a page on Facebook. To create a new post, you can just click on this plus button and it will take you to create a new post where you can upload your products and you can also integrate your store so that you can run a successful business on Facebook. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know everything that you wanted to know. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you. I tried to do everything about the topic and I hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to also you can subscribe to the youtube channel the button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question